Oh, Father, I praise you for your goodness, your grace, your mercy, and loving kindness, Father. I thank you for always being here with us, Father, for never leaving and forsaking us. I thank you for what you are doing, Father, in all of our lives. Oh, Father, I thank you for blessing your people and blessing their generations, Father, in Jesus' name. I thank you for making your people the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath, and lenders and not borrowers, Father. Oh, I thank you for blessing them in the city and blessing them in the field, and blessing them in their coming and blessing them in their going, Father. And I thank you for blessing everything they put their hands to in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Father, I thank you for hearing the prayers of your people and for answering them, Father. I thank you for your love, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, I thank you for being the giver of good gifts, Father, the lover of our souls, for always taking care of us, Father, for loving on us, for forgiving us, Father, and for blessing us, and for making yourself accessible to us always. I thank you for it. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. All right, ladies, I just wanted to pray over you and um, share a dream that I had and also uh, read a declaration or read from uh, Isaiah 61, uh, which was what this week's declaration was based on. But um, first, this, uh, I had a dream the night before last. And in this dream, I was um, I pulled into this parking lot of this uh, fast food restaurant. Then I went in, and uh, before I got out of the car, I took like $100 and put it into like a bank envelope or maybe I had money in the bank envelope and took out everything else and left a hundred dollars in this um, envelope and I put it in my pocket and then I uh, before I had gone I seen this girl and this guy go in before me and I didn't think anything of it and then I went into it and then the gr girl like reached into my pocket and like I swatted her and was like what are you doing get out of my pocket and then I went in and this um, woman, she was just trying to intimidate me, you know. And then she pulled out a gun and started to shoot, but the gun wouldn't shoot. Would not shoot, bang, you know, click, 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 nothing happened. And um, then I heard so clearly in this dream, no weapon formed against you will prosper. I just heard it that clear. And then that was the dream. And so, now I thank God for the dreams that he gives me, gives us because <laughs> I know he doesn't give, only give me dreams. And just for the reminder of his word, you know, no matter what goes on, uh, we can depend on his word. You know, and even in a dream, uh, when I heard the voice say this and I began to speak this word. Oh, that was part of the dream. I didn't just wake up. Um, I heard this and then I began to speak it. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Um, then I also said, uh, God has given me all power over the power of the enemy and nothing shall my enemies hurt. So just begin to declare these things, you know, and, you know, in Job 22, 28 says, you shall decree a thing and this thing will be established. So, you know, in this dream, I was seeing that the power of the words that we speak, you know, God, when we speak the word of God, his word goes forth. And it accomplishes all that it is sent out to do. So that's why I, I want to encourage you to speak that word because, you know, I put these declarations up. It is not just, you know, say it one time, you know, um, always say it, you know, speak it all throughout the week. You know, if you will take a medicine three times a day, you will speak this word three times a day, you know, speak these things. You know, the scripture talk about um, calling those things that be not as though they were. So no matter what your eyes see, this is walking by faith and not by sight. Um, no matter what our physical eyes see, you stay speaking the word and you speak. You become persistent and consistent with it until your circumstance aligns with what the word of God says. That's spiritual warfare. That's how you fight. That's how you use your faith. No matter what I see. I'm going to stand on a word of God until these natural eyes catch up with these spiritual eyes. All right, so this week's declaration was based on Isaiah 61, um, 
in, let me see. Hold on, let me catch up. Okay, 61.3, that's what it was. So that says, to console those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. So, you know, the oil of joy, beauty, and the garment of praise is for God to be glorified. So no matter what you're dealing with, no matter what we're seeing in our nations, is the way to change a situation is to align with the word of God. So, you know, use the oil of joy, no matter what you see, joy, let that pour forth from your being, from your spirit. Um, you put on a garment of praise and you praise God no matter what. Father, I thank you that you woke me up this morning. I thank you that I have clothes and shoes. I thank you that I have gas. You know, just begin to thank him, thank him because as you do that, you'll see you'll begin, your whole demeanor will begin to change. And then um, the, that, that was the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, the oil of joy for mourning. So, you know, you have God on the inside of you and you can draw from him at any time to change your whole um, attitude and change your whole life circumstance. So put that into um, practice. Uh, today, I went to the library, took my kids to the library, and um, there there was this, my girls went ahead, the boys went and did something at one part of the library, the girls went into the little family room to play with the kitchen set or whatever. And so they were in there and I was on, on another floor looking, uh, getting myself some books. And so I, after I got in my books, I came up to where the girls were. And then this man, he stopped me because he had a little girl in there. And he said, I just want to tell you, you have really good children. You know, they're so well behaved. They're this and that, you know, just going on. I said, thank you, you know, very much. And so he's, you know, he talked a little bit. And then my sister called and I, uh, you know, started talking to her. And then I was on my way out of their room for a second. And then he like excuse you know start talking to me again so i said okay i and i was feeling a tug that i needed to talk to you know he needed to be i needed to talk to him so i hung up with my sister i'll call you back let me you know talk to this man so as i you know sat there uh listening and engaging in conversation he began to just tell me some things and i could see that he um had seeds planted because his mom apparently was a christian lady but he was like a little you know often confused but i began to speak to him like he knew God, because <laughs> that's the thing, you know, it's no hiding, there's no holding back. That's who I am, you know, and I don't try to separate or hide that. I know God, I love God, and I want to do what God tells me to do. So, um, he, you know, he's talking about his mom. He lost his mom not so long ago. And then his daughter, he was telling me she had gotten some condition when she was a baby. And so one of her legs was um, quite shorter than the other. And so I said, um, Okay, you know, I'm just listening to him. And then I just began to speak, to, you know, speak to him and tell him, you know, um, you apparent, it's apparent to me that you had seeds planted. And he told me, he said his little girl got up this morning. And she said, today is going to be a good day. That's what she said. And I said, oh, yes, she, I said, she declared that. And today is a good day. And I said, you know, I asked him before, I said, do you mind if I lay hands on her and pray for her? He said, you know, not at all. So, you know, that's what I did. And I told him, I said, you know, I began to feel inside that God had been dealing with him, you know, speaking to this man. And um, so I began to just explain certain things to him. I could see that his mom was prophetic because he was telling me some things about his mom and that his brother was prophetic as well. And then, you know, I prayed for the, his little girl and I began to tell him, you know, speak these scriptures, you know, you speak these things. So I said, because I'm going to pray for her today. And I said, and at this moment, because I believe, I said, her, she's going to be whole, she's holding well at the moment I pray for her. I said, you're going to see this thing happen, you know, because God has heard you because he was telling me he was praying at one point or whatever. So God heard you and you're going to believe him beyond all shadows of doubt. Like I know God through and through and through. And I said, there's nothing that anyone can tell or say to me to get my faith off God and tell me I don't know who because I know him, you know, and I said and I began to explain to him why I know God, you know, what that process looked like. And so this guy, you know, I prayed for the little girl and then he asked me again for the scripture to declare over her. I said, you speak to her every day that by his stripes, you are healed. 
just speak that over her daily. And just like I'm telling you, you know, you being persistent and consistent, you know, you speak and speak and speak because that's just a situation or a circumstance, you know, presenting itself to be a certain way. And you, you have to realize that what Adam and Eve fell into, they were stuck in just being fixated on the physical with these eyes. But with spiritual insight, you know, it's the spirit is the truth. It's the word of God. That's the truth. And everything has to conform to the word of God. And that's a missing piece. I believe that we, have, you know, we as Christians have this watered down thing, but God's word is true. It is true through and through and through. You know, if he says that um, by his Jesus stripes, you were healed. That's the truth. Things are going to come to try to get your faith off of what God said. That's the whole the enemy's whole thing to get you off of what God said. But you got to hold to that word. That's how people get their healings. That's how people get circumstances to turn around. That's how people get debt broken off because they believe the word and hold on to that word until they see it come to pass. And that's the same thing. You know, you're not when you're fighting you engage in warfare you don't just nobody just fight or throw a punch and shoot a gun one time no this is warfare you engage until you see that desired outcome until you see what god has said come into manifestation in this physical realm so ah uh, that's all i have ladies <laughs> this video is long enough god bless you i love you and i will see you again real soon bye